Hello, this is Scott. Welcome back to my YouTube channel where I cover a variety of different data science and analytics topics and statistics as well. Today we're actually going to be talking about experimental design. This is a continuation. Um, so I cover everything from open discussions um, and, and even open source uh, software demonstrations. This is going to be a commercial platform called Statistica. And um, I'm going to show you how to analyze the design. I'm going to close this down. This is uh, from last time we, where we created a design type that was 103A. This is 103B. And so to illustrate this, I'm actually going to go in and I'm going to use a file that's in the example data sets. And it's going to be composite. Think, um, and this is. This is information, so you can see here a reference box and hunter. And um, so what I have here is I have the time, the degrees, the yield, and the blocking for this particular study. Um, and so we're going to go in and analyze this. And the first thing that we're going to do is look at linear factors to, to determine what is statistically significant. And, um, and then we'll look at other factors as well. So go into statistics. And then I can go into DOE, Central Composite, Non-Factorial Surface Design. I'm going to click OK. And then I'm going to go in here and, uh, oh, I'm sorry, I'm going to, I missed something. I'm going to, this is what we used last time to develop the design. Here is the analysis of the design under the Advanced tab. So I click OK here, and then um, I've got a, uh, standard design. So I just click on this tab right here and then select my variables. And so my dependent variable is that yield and then my independent factors are, is both uh, time and degrees. And then the blocking variable will be block there. I get this warning, but that's continue with text labels, which is fine. We're going to continue on with those. And so then I'll click OK. And so now I've got the, the basic summary for that particular design. And um, so I'm, I'm going to carry this as a the, the factors, right, 1 and 0. And so for this panel, I'm going to do the linear effects. All right, so I'm going to select linear, um, actually linear main effects only. And for the ANOVA term, I'm going to use the pure, uh, pure air here. And then if I go to the quick tab and then select summary, then I get my estimates here. I can see that, let me just move things over a little bit. I can see here that um, nothing is really uh, significant for this particular, uh, these, these results. Um, and these, again, are the linear effects that I'm measuring right now. Now, one thing I might want to do is go to the, the, the model, and um, I want to, See, click the summary there. I go back to quick and the effects estimates. That is going to be the same effect estimates. So that's the effects. But what about the ANOVA? So if I go to the ANOVA tab right here, and then I do the summary um, for the regression coefficients. And then the ANOVA table, this is the result that I was looking for um, for the different factors here. So blocks are in, in, insignificant, time is insignificant, the degrees, and then um, the lack of fit actually is significant, which means that I think that I might be able to test a nonlinear effect. And so that's what we're going to do now. So if you'll remember when we first came in, um, to the to the model tab, 
we had these options right here. So if I wanted to um, actually test for the uh, quadratic effects, I could select this option right here. And then um, if I go to the ANOVA results and then the table results here, then I do get significance for both the degrees as well as the interaction uh, for those two. All right. So um, we'll stop there, keep it very simple. And then again, the third part will be actually estimating the coefficients for this particular design. Hope you can join me there.